Hiya, oh, yeah. today we're going to make uh, sort of an Asian meal. Um, some people call it ramen. Look, it's just a, a bowl of noodle soup with meat and vegetables. Um, the reason we're doing it is I got these nice pork steaks in Lidl's today really cheap. So I thought, what can we do with those? So what we're going to do, it's, it goes in three stages. This. So the first stage, we're just going to make a little bit of marinade for these. So we're going to use a quarter of a teaspoon of garlic powder, a half teaspoon of dark soy sauce. I should make it a teaspoon, uh, two teaspoons. A quarter teaspoon of sugar, a quarter teaspoon of salt, Nice sea salt. I'm going to be using a pinch of MSG. I haven't got a problem with it. You can research yourself whether or not you want to use it. Uh, and then about a teaspoon of sesame oil. There we go, and I'll just find the five spice. Okay, and a, a quarter teaspoon of Chinese five spice powder. Now we'll just give them a little mix up, make a, a marinade. Now if you put, if you've got particularly tough pork and you want to make it tender, which I don't think these are, um, just add a little pinch of baking powder to this and that will tenderize them. So, Take your pork, whack it in the marinade, and now we're going to leave that in there. Look, minimum half hour, but by the time we make the stock of that, maybe an hour or so, if you've got the forethought to do it the night before, do it overnight. So we'll pop those in the fridge now. Okay, just going to prep up some veg now, um, because I need the trimmings for the stock. I'll do it in fast time, so I won't talk. Okay, so what we've got here is a little bit of red onion, some carrot, some peppers, celery, spinach, and we're just going to add some spring onion. Now the spring onions, we want the white parts, this bit, for the stock. And then we want this part as a garnish for the soup. So we'll just chop that down like that. Put all that in the stock. There we go. Now we're ready to move on to making the stock. Okay, so the stock or broth, as the Chinese and Americans like to say. Two and a half pints of water or thereabouts. The whites of the spring onions, the other bits of trimmings, bit of celery, carrot, basically all the bits left from chopping up the veg. We're going to put in four nice slices of ginger, a few black peppercorns, just like that. Here's the optional part, one dry bread chilli. If you don't open it up, it's not going to get too spicy. But if you don't want it in there, don't throw it in. Silly bit of ginger, throw that in as well. I'm going to put six, sounds a lot, but we want a flavour to this. Six oxo cubes, or whatever beef stock you want to use. You don't have to use beef, you can use chicken if you want. Um, this is going to give you a nice dark colour and flavour just make it a little bit nicer chicken will give you a golden colour and a lighter finish so it's entirely up to you which way you want to go I'm going to put in half a bulb of garlic if you don't like garlic don't put it in it's up to you into there now we're going to put some different flavours for colour and depth we're going to put dark soya sauce so we're going to put two tablespoons of dark soya sauce now we're going to put in for saltiness 
light soya sauce. Beware, this is strong stuff. If you go wild with it, it will taste a bit pooey. So, one tablespoon of light soya sauce. Just give that a little shake up. Now we're going to put this on um, to gent bring it to the bowl and then gently simmer it. Don't try, try not to lose too much water. If you do, you can put more water in. And then we'll pass it through a fine sieve when we later come to put the whole dish together. Almost forgot one bay leaf, one and a half or two small star anise, and one in number clove. Stupid me. There we go. I never said that I said so this. The longer you stew this without being silly, the better you're going to get the flavour out of it because you want the ginger in that to, to brew up a bit. So you know, when it boils, simmer it for a good 20 minutes or so. Okay, that's been simmering away for quite a while. There's plenty of flavour come out. I've just tasted it. At this point, if you feel it needs a little bit of salt, which it shouldn't, but if you do, add it. So all we're going to do now, pass this through a, a very fine sieve. And then we put that, just to keep warm at the back of the stove, um, that's ready to, to go with the rest of the meal. So now I'm going to put a pan of water here and bring it to a boil and show you the next step. Okay, so I've got my water boiling. I've got a pan nice and hot here. Uh, don't panic if the alarm goes off. My smoke alarm is very sensitive. We're just going to pop the pork on. It's going to be about a couple of minutes each side. We don't want to overcook it. Meanwhile, in the hot, salty water, we're dropping a couple of nests of noodles. Um, use whatever you like, really, noodle-wise. Um, you know, a ramen noodle, or a pot noodle, or a 50p packet of noodle. Um, whichever you've got handy. So we're just going to cook these, and then I'll carry on in a minute. It's been about a minute, I suppose, just going to flip these over. Okay, steaks cooked, turn them off. Let's take them off, let them rest for a second. Put them on the board before we cut them. Meanwhile, noodles are cooked. So we're just going to drain those. Stock hot at the back, so I'm going to move over to here now and we'll build the dish. Okay, I forgot to turn the camera on, uh, but all we've done is we put the hot noodles in the middle, like that, and then we're putting our vegetables around the edge. So we've got the baby spinach, really healthy, really good for you. Got some red onion, don't have to put it, I did because I had some. Some carrot, some yellow peppers, celery. Don't skip the celery, I know people are tempted to, but it's really good for you. Okay, that's all your lovely veggies and that there. What we're going to do now is take our stock, or broth, whatever word you want to use. And into that we're going to put about a tablespoon, uh, maybe half a tablespoon of sesame oil. Give a little stir in. You don't put it in before because you'll lose the flavour. So we're just going to pour this all over your dish. This isn't a soup. It's not a pasta dish. It's, well, it is what it is. It's very healthy, very tasty, and in this instance, very cheap. The pork was on special offer. And we're letting the um, the heat in the liquid just temper the vegetables. And as you eat it, you kind of mix it up. 
and they cook a bit more. Okay, on top of that, we've got the lovely pork steak. Just pop that on there like that. Like so. And then just finish it. Some people put some peanuts on. I haven't got any, so I haven't. But they are nice. A nice sprinkling of spring onion around that. Now when it comes to eating this, you're going to need a spoon for the stock and you're going to need either chopsticks or a fork for the noodles. Um, it's a bit of an experience eating it, but it really is worth doing. It's wonderful food. It's light. It's healthy. It's cheap. Give it a go.